Syrian opposition leaders are calling for international intervention after activists said at least 17 people were killed on Sunday in homes by security forces. The attacks on homes began last week, violating an agreement with the Arab League to stop the violence. That plan was also supposed to open up borders to international reporters, but so far the country has remained closed, making access all but impossible. Now, a new documentary brings a rare inside look at the violent events unfolding inside Syria. The protesters considered Syria's president, Bashar al-Assad, a tyrant. Further along the road, we heard there was a funeral for a young protester who died in prison. We stopped to film. Abu Khalid said we had to be quick as there were government informants everywhere. That's freelance journalist Ramita Navai narrating. She spent two weeks inside Syria, and her footage and reporting is the basis for a PBS frontline documentary, Syria Undercover. She joins us now by phone from New York. Ramita Navai, welcome to FSRN. Thank you. You went to the city of Douma, where a 14-year-old boy was killed in a protest. You spoke with his family. What happened in that instance? Well, we have heard that children were being targeted by the security forces, and we wanted evidence of this. And the activists we were with said that uh, they had been with a child when this little boy was killed by security forces. So they took us to the spot it happened. There was still fresh blood there. They said that, that he'd bled so much they'd had to soak it up with sand, and you could see the streaks of blood on the ground. And you could see the bullet marks in the wall behind which he'd been cowering, he'd been hiding. And they showed us horrific footage of his little body being taken away. He had a horrible head injury and he was taken straight to hospital. He later died in hospital. We tracked down his father and it was heartbreaking talking to him. And that interview is featured in your reporting and in your documentary. Now, each week there are more reports of these types of killings of activists and protesters and civilians uh, by security forces. You speak with some of the survivors, some of the activists. What did they say about how long they will continue under this kind of pressure? They are absolutely unstoppable and they're completely fearless. They made it really clear to us that they will not give up until they see the fall of the regime, until President Assad is toppled. The civilians who have been wounded and have gone to regular hospitals have become targets of the government. You report on makeshift hospitals set up by activists. Tell us about some of them. Yeah, this is one of the most upsetting and disturbing things that we uncovered when we were there. A doctor told us that many injured protesters had been dragged out of their hospital bed from the hospital he works in. He said a colleague of his also saw an injured protester shot dead in his hospital bed by security forces. So now people are really scared to take injured protesters to hospitals because security forces raid them, hunting down anyone who's been at a protest. And for this reason that the activists have set up secret hospitals, they're really a network of safe houses, and they are treating patients in them. One of the most difficult things about this uh, situation in Syria has been the ban on media and getting accurate information. Going within Syria and getting first-hand accounts of, of what is going on, how was that experience, and um, how was it to bring that information out to a, to a wider public? It's, it was so important to us to get footage out of Syria. And this became really clear to me before I left for Syria. I started talking to activists in London, and they really felt that forgotten. They really felt forgotten and abandoned by the international community. Now, partly this is because it's just so hard to get in the country as a journalist, to get footage out. So it's, it, it feels important to be able to tell their story. Ramita Navai, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Frontline's Syria Undercover airs Tuesday, November 8th at 9 p.m. Eastern on PBS. You can find a link to more information at fsrn.org.